making me um, document this because yesterday she heard me editing my vlog and I was complaining that no one makes me a good cup of tea, only my dad. So, my mum's made me a good cup of tea this morning and she's also made me a cooked breakfast which is really, really sweet. So, I'm just trying to watch a vlog and then this happens. How's this happen? Oh, oh, oh. No, right, no, no. no. Uh, that's my laptops. Bye. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So I'm in a little bit of a rush because I've been holding everyone up basically. Been up this morning, edited up two videos, the main channel and my vlog. I had a shower and everything, had my breakfast. I'm now dressed in my day. I'm basically just wearing my sitsy outfit that I wore. I need to put some shoes on and then just a black coat and my Prada bag. Because today me, Ella and Desiree are actually heading to Nottingham to a Christmas market. They're waiting outside for me right now so I need to go but I'll chat to you more in the car. I've just literally got ready and I'm ready to leave now just need to put on my shoes. Hi guys, sorry about my uh, punctuality today. My attendance is really slippy. So what I was saying inside is I basically had a super slow morning, like I had my breakfast and stuff, started getting ready super slow, had a shower, and then I was like, you know what, Ella's not here yet, so I'm gonna, I obviously knew Ella, but we were gonna Nottingham today, knew Ella would come in, but she weren't here when she said she was gonna be, so I was like, you know what, whilst I'm not doing anything, I brought a hair dye with me, uh, that I'd already opened and used half of it, so I was like, I'll just bring the other half with me and use it on my hair. It turns out, because it's already been opened and like, used, it's already like, developed in the actual container, so it did absolutely nothing to my hair, so I would lay it, well, I am late now for absolutely no reason because my hair is no different. So I still need to sort my hair out. This is my job. I've got to shout what number it says on the thing to Ella, who's down there fixing up her car. Hiya, mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we've arrived in Nottingham. The drive here was actually really good. Remember, we're on the seventh, actually, because we'll forget where we are. We're on the seventh floor of a car park, because we couldn't find it there. And now we've got to walk down seven flights of stairs. I'm actually starving. I don't think I've ever been to Nottingham, ever. Apparently, this is like the winter wonderland in London, but in Nottingham. And I highly doubt it, because it's in the middle of the town centre. So I don't really know how that's going to work. I need food before we do anything, lads. And Ella's now backing out. So, this is fun. I really want to go Ella's on. See, that could be us. Her. We could be pushing that thing. See? <laughs> Are you going on? I'll come on if you hold my hand. I'm just. not holding your hand. Well, I'm not coming on. We've just queued to pay for ice skating and the next session's not until 6.45. It's now just turn four. So we're not going to be able to ice skate. The reason I wanted to come is because I wanted to go ice skating as well because I've not been ice skating this winter. Uh, and we can't even get on. Set times. Oh, that's pretty luck. <laughs> Now we're just walking around because well, obviously we can't go ice skating. There's people on there now, but it was fully bought, so we're just gonna have a walk around. I don't really know what there is to do. I really want like a peppermint hot chocolate. The one we should have gone to Sheffield Market. Why did we not just do that? We actually should have. It's finished. Oh, we're gonna have a little walk around. We kind of want to get a hot chocolate because my hands are freezing, uh, and also my nose has gone really, really red. So I love that. Oh, I've got my mouth. Merry Christmas. And just like that, we're heading back to the car. We've approximately been here how long? <laughs> Two hours? Two hours, probably even less than that, actually. We came all the way here to ice skate because every other Christmas market and stuff has started packing away now that like that's around Sheffield. Someone's probably going to comment saying that there is one closer, actually. But when we searched, we couldn't find anyone that were actually open. Uh, so, we're heading back home now. Can give it a rating out of 10. A rating out of 10? Yeah. What would you rate it? A two. A two. I don't think it was that bad. It's literally like the Sheffield one. But because we've drove like an hour out of Sheffield when we could have gone to the one in town. I say that but we couldn't have gone to the one in town and it's literally whoa, we're just walked into a bush. It's the exact same as the one like in Sheffield Town Centre. Apart from we don't normally have like a big ice skating ring. Uh, however that made no difference whatsoever because we couldn't get on the ice skating ring. So <laughs> Um, 
Draco Malfoy. I really do, dams. All right, hi. I'm back home, as you can see. I'm just laid in my bed, and I've been watching people's Vlogmas vlogs. I keep forgetting to vlog, and it's when I go out somewhere. So when I'm out all day, then I come back in to the warmth. My energy is just, like, gone. So I literally have been in the house for probably, like, an hour now and not picked up my camera. Basically, Nottingham were really, really cute. Like, the market were really cute. We had a little wander around. However, we didn't realise a lot of the stuff there, you had to basically book online. Obviously, it's two days until Christmas. There's a hell of a lot of people just doing Christmassy festive things. A lot of people are now off work, which means that everyone is just like out and about doing stuff, last minute shopping, all that stuff. So it was really, really busy, which meant we couldn't actually do any of the things we wanted to do. However, it was nice to just go somewhere different, have a hot chocolate, and then we drove back and listened to a bunch of old songs the entire way back home. So we literally just all sang the entire way back. And now I'm back home. I'm currently watching people's vlogs. I think my mom's cooking food. I can smell something that smells really good. But like I said, my energy levels on an all time low. I think because my body was so damn cold that coming in to the warmth literally, like I said, just takes everything out of me. I need to sort my hair out, but I don't think I will today because basically, it's like yellowy blonde. I don't really know what the hell's happening with it. I tried to dye it quick this morning, but it didn't really do anything. It's now time to wrap the presents and as this is going up on Christmas Day, which I realised earlier, should have introed this by saying Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Remember not to compare your Christmas to everyone else's online just because I really don't like that shit. I've decided that I'm going to vlog Christmas. I asked in a few vlogs ago if I should vlog Christmas, but I didn't want people to see what I were doing or I just don't like the idea of someone else watching someone else's Christmas and comparing what they have and like their family and like that situation to someone else's situation because like I feel like that's so dumb. Like I feel like it can get, it, I feel like it can get in people's head a lot, which is why I try and stay off social media during Christmas, especially Christmas Day. But I am gonna film it once. I want to keep the memories. You guys also replied saying that you want me to film it, so I am gonna do it. I was gonna film it anyway. I just never gonna upload it. So as this is going up on Christmas Day, I can actually show you what I got my parents and speak about what I got my parents. Obviously, can't talk about what I got my brother because he's literally behind the camera. But I'm gonna wrap some stuff. I'm gonna sort everything out. I'm gonna have to say it quite quietly because I am aware that I'm in my parents' house. Starting with my dad. I really don't know what to get my dad and I feel like my mum's gift even though it's not sentimental in the value of like it's not sentimental the thing but like the reason I'm getting it out and like the backstory of it is kind of like oh that's really sweet so I wanted to have the same or similar effect on my dad but my dad's the hardest person ever to buy for it's a really cool comic book store I vlogged going there I picked up I don't I think this is the four yeah the 40 the 40 second ever issue of spider-man like ever i don't know the exact date this will release it's a magazine by the way it's just kept in like a nice thing the date that it will released and the date that it will published is actually inside but i haven't opened it yet because i want my dad to be the one to open it just because i think it's really sweet and also my dad's like such a marvel disney fan that i think he'll find it really interesting and like even more so if it's around the era of like when he was a kid and like he saw this in shops i don't know and it also make for a great artwork piece on the wall like if it's framed nicely so Got me dad that as like a little, oh that's cute. I've just got him a bunch of like skincare bits and like things that are like just like men's grooming stuff in here. My dad goes through aftershave like there's absolutely no tomorrow. So I got him one of his favourite ones which is a Tom Ford. <laughs> this is going to seem so weird to everyone else. In my parents room, since they decorated it, they've got a lava lamp. Oh, my mum mentioned it to me that this brand's really cool for lava lamps. So I was like, what can I get my dad? Like, I didn't want to get him trainers. So I actually got him. <laughs> A little love lamp. Like, it's not just like a boring love lamp, but it's tiny. So, yeah, that's what I got my dad. Now, my mum's is the thing that it's gonna be like eye roll for people, but my mum is a graphic designer. She works every single day from a Mac. I've only ever known my mum have two laptops in my entire life. She's obviously been a graphic designer since she left uni. I've known her have two laptops. She's definitely had this laptop my entire way through high school, college, university. So that's at least 10 years. And basically it's broken. Like it literally does not work. And she needs the laptop. She needs the laptop to do absolutely anything to do with her work. I bought my own and also she bought me my first laptop like I wouldn't be doing all this stuff I'm doing with YouTube if I didn't have the laptop that my mum bought me for Christmas My mum's had this laptop for a long ass time. It literally is broken. It loses her work all the time So she has to restart her entire jobs She's literally losing money from not being able to work as much because this laptop is so bad Ta -da. I'm obviously not just gonna wrap it up and give it off. So what I've planned to do is I brought a Balenciaga shoe box from in London. Put an external hard drive into this laptop, you need this. This is the external hard drive, you need this. Little thing that then plugs into the side of the laptop. So I bought one of these, obviously, so she can work. The day after Christmas Day, she's gonna need to work again. So I bought one of these so she can work straight away. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this in the shoe box. It's gonna seem like she's got a pair of shoes. 
but in actual fact it's just going to open it it's going to be an old pair of shoes in there just waiting to box that on it's going to have this in it you won't know what this is like if you just saw this she wouldn't know what this is but then i'm going to be like oh do you not need that for your new laptop and she'll be like what and then i'm gonna give her the laptop that's the plan so yeah that's basically what i bought my parents for christmas um i understand it is a hell of a lot of money i feel like you can't put a price on stuff like that like my mom's job her livelihood depends on this laptop and if she can't afford to do it herself and i can then like i'd be a bad person for not doing it you know anyway i just feel like i have to justify myself these are the Balenciagas that are going in. <laughs> so I'm literally just going to put these in the box just so it, like, if she lifts the box up on Christmas Day, it's at least going to feel like it's got shoes in. <laughs> Right, so I'm literally just watching the Dolan Twins video whilst I'm doing my wrapping. So I've wrapped all the gifts up now. I put some of my dad's in there just to keep it together. And also I couldn't wrap the magazine thing because I didn't want to bend it. So it made sense to just put one of the presents in there. That didn't take as long as I thought. And also I'm kind of proud of my wrapping. Apart from I've realized I've wrapped everything upside down. Like I should have turned the things upside down before putting them in the wrapping paper. But I wrapped them all face up. So now the bottoms of each present is actually the top of what's inside, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? Christmas time